This is actress Inger Stevens. She was born Inger Stensland, 18th of October, 1934, in Stockholm, Sweden, to Swedish parents. Inger's parents divorced when she was still young. She spent a few years with her grandparents and then later came to live in the United States with her father and stepmother. They ended up in Manhattan, Kansas, where she lived all through her high school life. Her desire was to become an actress, which she did. But she first worked in burlesque and studied at the Actors Studio in New York. She starred in several movies and TV productions. She was married twice during her lifetime, but she never seemed to be satisfied. She suffered from reoccurring depression. She attempted suicide twice and never explained why. The last time was on April the 30th, 1970, at her Hollywood Hills home. Her roommate and companion, Lola McNally, found her laying on her kitchen floor. She called to Stevens, who had opened her eyes, raised her head, but was unable to speak. She passed away on her way to the hospital. The coroner stated, from an overdose of anti-asthma drugs containing phenobarbital. She was 35 years old. Lola McNally stated that Ingram showed no signs of depression at the time, although she did call a friend that night around 11 p.m. and stated that she had just had an argument with her current lover, but that she was okay, going to take something and go to bed. Now this is a picture of the police officers at Ingram's home that day. They found a glass of vodka on the kitchen counter and ingredients to make a sandwich. She was still in her nightgown. 